In the first episode of Inside Ranthambore, you have seen my tiger sighting was impacted heavily due to the rains. So at this point I'm not even sure that whether we'll get to see any tigers or not. But still fingers crossed. Now after 4 months I'm back to this magical place once again in search of tigers, leopards as well as hyenas and sloth bears. Hey what is up guys welcome to the channel. So I'm back at Ranthambor uh, after 4 months. So last time when I was here it was raining heavily and my sighting was very much impacted. But this time I'm very hopeful the weather is nice. It's hot uh, during the afternoon and in the morning and late evening it's pretty cold. So perfect for tiger sightings. And apart from tiger I'll be also looking for sloth bears as well as hyenas and if possible leopards too. But yeah the primary target will be the tigers only. So let's see what Ranthambor has in store for us this time. I decided to stay at the same place Sundarvan Wildlife Resort. We left our resort early in the morning for our first safari. And as soon as we left our resort we had one of the most incredible sighting of a wild hyena near a dump yard. Since first time I could not visit the zone 4, this time I decided to have my first safari in the zone 4. However, there was no gypsy available at that zone. So we had to settle for canter only. As soon as we entered the zone, we got to see two male Samba deers engaging in a territorial fight, which was undoubtedly a very good sighting. Soon we reached the lake area where we got to see whole lot of crocodiles basking in the morning sun. We also got to see a wild boar and a Indian jackal in the same area. The jackal was very alert, however, we could not find any tiger during this safari. My next safari was scheduled at Zone 10. Zone 10 is one of the most popular zones of Ranthambore. So we started our journey and little did I knew that on the road itself I'll have one of the most amazing sighting of my life. From the road itself, we spotted a female leopard resting on top of a wall. Soon after that, we spotted another leopard and it was male nearby. And little did we knew what was about to happen. Sabrina, we are not. 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 We are
रुको 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 ये देख मीटिंग होगा मीटिंग होगा रुको रुको Even though we had one of the most incredible leopard sighting from Ranthambore, we were still looking for more. And this time, our target was nothing other than a tiger. And we did not had to wait for long. As soon as we entered zone 10, we figured out Aishwarya, a female tigress, was around and then she appeared from the bushes. After giving us an incredible sighting, Aishwarya then crossed the road in front of many gypsies and canters. She then leaped over one gypsy and went deep inside the bushes and I managed to take a very good shot of her. After Aishwarya left, all the gypsies and the canters also left that spot. And then a magic happened. A wild sloth bear appeared in front of us, literally out of nowhere. And I was extremely delighted to witness this wild beast in its natural behavior. It is very rare to find tiger, leopards, sloth bears as well as hyenas in a single trip. So I was very happy that my trip went absolutely amazing. And I was also sad at the same time to leave this place. But it was finally time to head back home. I'll definitely come back to this magical place again. But that time I'll be looking for rusty spotted cats. So until then, goodbye Ranthambore and I'll see you all in my next vlog.